Hi everybody, welcome to day two of our seven day challenge. Congratulations, you made it through day one. So how did it go? Uh, please be sure and send me comments on how things are going for you. You can feel free to send me your food logs or if you have any questions, send them along. We can address those in the videos as we go along. So I wanted to talk about, um, first of all, that this is a seven day challenge. So we're going to really try and stick with this. No exceptions, seven days, just to make sure that you can really do this. So the things that are our guidelines, if we want to remember, is no animal products, no flour, no sugar, no oil, and we're just going to try to keep all those processed foods out of our diet for these seven days. Just keep it to whole foods. Now yesterday we talked about eating more veggies and trying to eat a small portion of veggies before each meal. And that's really helpful in kind of filling you up and learning to trust your hunger signals. And also, remember we talked about using fruit as your sweetener or uh, fruit as a dessert. So try to use whole fruits rather than using any of the sugars or molasses or honey or agave or any of that. Just use fruits to sweeten things and kind of try to get used to a little lower sugar. Your, your taste buds really do adapt. So let's just kind of make that our goal this week to just be using that as your sweetener. So I thought today that we could talk about starches a little bit. So first, what are starches? Well, there's a huge variety. For instance, there's potatoes. You've got your Yukon Gold, your russet potatoes, other white potatoes. You've got sweet potatoes, the garnet or the orange sweet potatoes. You've got white sweet potatoes, which are sometimes called Hannah yams or Jersey yams. Uh, and we've also got Japanese sweet potatoes, which are really good. Uh, other things that are considered starches are, are grains. So for instance, you know, brown rice, all the different varieties of brown rice or wild rice. Uh, we've, uh, we've got other grains like um, oat groats or millet or sorghum, uh, quinoa. That's just a few. There's probably a lot more. Another thing that is considered a starch is all the different kinds of squashes. Now, pumpkin is a squash. Uh, we've got carnival squash, kabocha squash, delicata squash, acorn squash, butternut squash. So all of those. Uh, next we've got legumes. So that would be things like beans. You've got your black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, all kinds of white beans, navy beans, cannellini beans. We've got split peas. We've got both green and yellow split peas. We've got um, lentils. So many different colors of lentils. Brown, red, green, black. And they all have kind of different textures, so you know you can really experiment around with those. Now, what is a serving of a starch? A lot of times people say, well, I can only eat a half a cup of rice because it's so fattening. Or it's really common to hear people say, oh, I can't eat potatoes. Potatoes make me fat. All I eat is potatoes, guys. I mean, I eat a lot of starches, and I've lost 85 pounds doing this, and I've kept it off. And the potatoes are what really fill you up. The more potatoes I eat, the more weight that I lose. It's like this magic food. So what is it about potatoes that makes people fat? Well, what do they put on them? We've got cheese, butter, sour cream, gravy, bacon bits. That's what makes you fat. It's not the potato. So if you can learn ways to make potatoes without those toppings on them in a way that you will enjoy the flavor they are like a magic food for you. They're super healthy, they've got lots of fiber, they're low in calories, and they're really satiating. Potatoes are the most satiating food on the planet. And all these other starches, really same thing. They really do fill you up and give you that feeling of satisfaction. Now I've got some notes here, so sorry if I kind of look off to the side a little bit, but just wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything. And I did want to talk about, now there was one guy um, in Australia, his name was Andrew Taylor. He ate nothing but potatoes for a year and he lost over a hundred pounds, solved a bunch of health issues that he had. He was monitored by a doctor that entire year and his numbers of all his different levels of body functions just kept getting better and better throughout the year. So it just shows how nutritious they are. Now, I'm not suggesting that you guys do that, uh, but it's just an example, you know, to give you an idea that you just don't have to be afraid of the starches like we've been so conditioned to be. Now, today what I'm going to do is give you just a little bit of homework about starches and specifically about potatoes. Uh, one is a little article uh, by Jeff Novick, and it's called, uh, Do Potatoes Cause Diabetes? Now, not all of you 
are concerned about diabetes at all, you may not have it, you may not, may not run in your family, but this article is really good because it demonstrates how that it's how you cook them and what you load them with that makes them unhealthy. And it really has some good you know numbers and things in there to show you that it is a super healthy food. The second part of your homework today is going to be a little five minute video by Chef AJ all about eating potatoes for weight loss. And she even demonstrates one quick and easy way to prepare them for a nice simple meal. And then underneath those two homework sections that I have, I'm going to give you a list of resources on potato recipes, ways you can prepare them that are healthy and that are on this program for your seven day challenge uh, from places like the Forks Over Knives recipe um, guide and the brand new vegan website and also straight up food. And I'm going to send you a link directly to the potato recipes. And as you're at those websites, you can look for other recipes with starches like squashes or different legumes or greens. And just search for, you know, whatever you have in your pantry, put it in the search box and recipes will come up. So this is the end of day two. I'm trying to keep these as short as I can. And I hope this is going great for you. I'm looking forward to day three. And we've just going to, we're going to do great with the seven day challenge. So thanks for joining me. All right. And I'll talk to you later.